World Consumer Rights Day's theme of fair and responsible AI for consumers stands as a global shift into a new era similar to the dramatic introduction of the internet and social media. The use of artificial intelligence has been at the forefront in recent years, as the potential to carry out complex scenarios and creations such as scripts and songs. This new technological advantage, however, arrives with many drawbacks, as certain sectors and skill sets may become obsolete. These circumstances are foreseen by St. Lucia's leaders, as the Minister for Tourism, Honorable Dr. Ernest Hillier, addressed how AI will inevitably change the landscape for not only tourism, but business and politics globally. For us in tourism, we're already preparing for it, and we've had training um, in the Ministry of Tourism for some of our staff in terms of the use of AI. Um, and at the level of marketing, tourism marketing, AI is going to be quite important. The, the comforting aspect so far for us is that at the end of the day, AI cannot really express emotions the way, say, a travel operator can. So if you want to look for a destination to go to, you can call a travel, uh, tour operator, a travel agent and ask about St. Lucia. And they can say, yes, I went there on a familiarization tour. I know that. I know where they're selling the hot bread down in Tomaso. You, you can speak of em with emotion about uh, your experiences. AI will give you a writer. Tomaso has the, the most cruel, um, delicious tasting bread. You know, it, it will describe it for you in the most emotive terms, but it cannot express it the way a human being can, at least not yet, until they have human odds who can actually speak with the same emotion. In the event that AI use becomes a normality for the island, a reskilling effort must be conducted in the same vein as individuals becoming computer literate. You as a songwriter can get your first version from AI and just refine it, you know, and put in some of the, um, the finer touches to it. So you're absolutely right. It's going to re-engineer business and how we've done it. And we need to start um, reskilling our workers to teach them how they can use AI to enhance productivity and enhance the quality of the work that they do. It will certainly affect employment in the future. Um, you know, just like now you ask your worker, um, are you, you know, familiar with technology online and whatnot? And people have to say, well, yes, I can go and do research. I can go and do X, Y, and Z. With AI, it will be the same. In a few years, you'll have to ask anybody you employ in, what's the familiarity of AI? Can they use it? For politics, AI has the potential to be an instrument to sow deceit and forward agendas, as the likeness or voice of a politician can be replicated online. AI is going to change that. AI will create more doubt in the mind of the electorate. It will create more uncertainty and it will help cement prejudices. Because whereas um, journalists would take the time and try to write a story, albeit some of them are biased, but the point is they try to, to, to write a story. AI can be designed to reinforce just what people think. So if you, if you have a certain view point. You can use AI just to reinforce that and use the person's own words, comments, likeness to make the point. As a developing country, Minister Hillier believes that St. Lucia must take a reactionary approach when implementing laws and policy regarding AI, as it is still a relatively new tool. You see, the challenge you face as a small country like ours, you, you are a taker rather than a maker. You don't make the rules, you don't make the, um, the configurations that, you know, allow technology to, to, to spread. You take what comes your way. And for us to pass laws without even knowing where it will end up, without even knowing where it will end up, is, is quite challenging. And you might end up actually stifling the, the good because you want to get rid of the bad. So you almost have to always lay back and see how it's emerging and how other countries are dealing with it and then for you to be reactive almost. Because it's difficult for you to be proactive um, when you are a small island state like, like ours. The implementation of AI is a revolutionary force that will once again change the landscape of accessible and readily available information. Minister Hilaire patiently plans for St. Lucia's upcoming AI transformation as he foresees certain businesses and skill sets may suffer. For Choice News Now, this is Obi Offer reporting.